Hello and welcome to yet another part of the character modeling tutorial. Um, we're this time going to look at uh, finishing like this, this front part of the head and uh, continuing with, well, whatever we have to do, we'll see. Um, haven't decided yet. Uh, so to close this upper part, I'll start from here to extrude forward, uh, then close this hole and fill this face in and then quickly take a look at your structures and try to find a way to close it. Um, in this situation I have to reduce the amount of loops that we have um, and this is a solution that I can see so if you connect these like that and subdivide them you get here just enough or this is to fill everything with quads and worked perfectly as it seems this is sometimes a quite a challenge but it worked so if the shapes here are too troublesome you'd have to do some fixes i mean what you could do which is probably not a bad idea um let's do that is to use the knife and cut from here to here I guess and now we have to do something about the triangle hmm so this is why it's normally not that easy to fill um, things up now we don't want to lose or add too much in the other areas that we created already since well there is a reason why we shape them this way um, but I guess this time no let's let's do it like like this and I guess over here we can add one that's good kind of yeah so by doing that you have again everything with quads and uh, it's a bit better than before well, it's not good in terms of topology, I guess. I mean, it's not bad, but, you know, just go back a part or two and you'll hear my opinion on that. Um, let's just make sure that it still has the same shape. Um, she looks kind of sad for some reason here. <laughs> That's probably because of uh, this part. Yeah, it's a bit better now. I mean, the eyebrows are going to fix it, but still. And let's do our best already here. Make sure that this part here is rather flat until you reach the nose, where it's very sharp, and then you go a bit more flat again. Yeah, something like this. Um, so we finished the face for now. Um, I'm quite satisfied with the results so far. Um, so I guess we'll start with modeling hair at this point because um, this back part of the head costs some time and we don't have to spend it because we won't see it. Um, and this area here will afterwards fill since we don't know yet where the hair will start and you know these kind of things so um let's think about a way to approach this um now usually you just create strands and connect them but i think this time for this kind of hairstyle it's better to um think about like chunks of hair that belong together so for example i see uh, let me show that to you i will use the grease pencil feature over here and draw something so i see this here as one let's make this red so that you can see it like this is one in my opinion and then we have um, 
another one over here and the same one is mirrored on, onto the other side like here and that's not actually all of it um, I mean that's kind of this area but we have also a few additional ones that branch off from this one and go to here so what I'm doing is basically thinking loud but you know that everything starts from here pretty much from the center and then you have a few up here I guess this one is part of this uh, strand that we described earlier and that back part is more of a sphere uh, half of a sphere you know that's something itself and it has kind of this direction you can see it from here as well that's the same thing anyways that's just some thinking done uh, yeah just what I'm thinking about when uh, starting it um, you know what, this part is too short to stop it yet, but I don't really want to start with the hair right now. Uh, what we'll do instead is just bring something into place for later on. Uh, so add a new object, make sure it's centered, add mirror modifier, and let's create these um, things that she has on her hair on the side. Um, not detailed yet, just, just blocking it in with literally a block so that we have then it easier to create them add uh, the hair and position everything and that looks good um yeah i guess that's it um that was probably a bit short and not lots of information in this video um we'll do more in the next part um until then have a good time i hope to see you in my next one